there was no immediate official confirmation of the figure of 400 captive women and children, a larger kidnapping than Boko Haram's abduction of nearly 300 schoolgirls last April, which caused an international outcry. Nigerian, Chadian, and Niger forces have driven the militants out of a string of towns in simultaneous offenses over the past month. Currently, Niger troops distribute food and blankets to a handful of residents who, against all odds, remained. In 10 metric tons of food items, but we are distributing to the populations, mainly old people, women, children, who are held hostages here in the city. So it's uh, for this reason that we brought in some food supplies so they can take care of themselves. With three days to go until Nigeria's most tightly contested election since the end of military rule in 1999, incumbent President Goodluck Jonathan is hoping to be returned to office despite being accused of being ineffectual. The decision to vote to be you vote for a Nigerian youth to be important, to be relevant in this country, or for a Nigerian youth to be treated as a nonsense person. Presidential challenger and former Nigerian military ruler Mohamedou Buhari has promised to get rid of corruption and deal with insecurity, something many claim Good Luck Jonathan cannot. We seek a new Nigeria. It starts with us. It starts today. In the north, the Boko Haram insurgency has gained momentum under Good Luck's rule. The militant group, a Sunni insurgency which recently pledged allegiance to the Islamic State, has killed thousands of people in its six-year onslaught aimed at establishing their own caliphate in northeastern Nigeria.